Today's tip of the week will be about changing the pivot point of a mesh that you want to upload to Second Life. This method is basically a hack or a workaround if you will because the Second Life uploader doesn't support changed or offset pivot points. So let's take a look at pivot points in Blender. First of all the pivot point is called origin in Blender but it does the exact same thing no matter what you call it. It's basically a center point that you can rotate around, scale in reference to, so on and so forth. So if we selected this and rotated it, you see that it is rotating around that yellow dot. And that yellow dot is the indicator of where the origin is. Okay? But um, for a door, you would expect the pivot point to be along one of the edges. So to change the pivot point, let's tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to select this edge where I want the pivot to move to. Okay, go back to front view. And now I'm going to hit Shift S to bring up the snap menu. And I want to move the 3D cursor to that face, to that edge. So I'm going to go cursor to select it. So it's going to move the 3D cursor to what I have selected. All right? Then I'm going to tab to go back to object mode. Now I want to move this yellow dot, the origin, to where the 3D cursor is. So I'll go over here to the tool shelf, tool shelf, and click origin. And I want to go origin to 3D cursor. Now you can see the yellow dot has moved to this edge. Now if we rotate it, you see it's rotating around the edge instead, which is what we want. However, if we exported this out right now and uploaded it to Second Life, the origin would be right in the middle again. So we have to fool the, the SL uploader into thinking that this is twice as wide as it is so that the new middle point would be still be along this edge. So first we want to basically float a little piece of geometry out here that is equal distance away from this center point here. So to do that we're going to add a mirror modifier. You want to click this little wrench icon, add my modifier, mirror. Now it doesn't really matter what's going on here because we're not going to keep this modifier. We're just using it for reference. But you want to make sure in this particular case to mirror it across the x-axis. Alright, and then I'm going to go to top view by hitting 7. I'm just checking where the duplicate is by hitting this eye icon to turn the modifier on and off. So I want to put my triangle over here. So now I want to, I'm going to move through the cursor here. Then I'm going to shift A to add a plane. I'm going to tab into that hit control T so that I can turn this into a triangle triangulate it basically I'm going to select that and delete it hit X to delete basis I'm going to go to vertex select mode and then I'm going to turn on snapping snap to vertex 
Now I'm going to zoom in here. And hit G to move. So first of all, let's get up on this side. Move this up here. So it's easier to snap. Now I'm going to change the snapping to face mode so I can snap this vertices to this face. Okay. And still need to bring it down. But now it's fine. And now I can get rid of this modifier because I was just using it for reference. So now I have my little triangle over here and my door. Now at this point, we want to give the door a material, okay? So let's go over here to Properties, click this icon, add a new material. I'm just going to give it a color for reference, for the, um, make it stand out visually here. Just to be double sure everything's assigned, I always like to go in and hit assigned. And now I want to give the triangle a new material, and it has to be a different material from the door. I'm going to make this one red. And I always to be double sure. Go in and click assign. You really don't need to do this um, if you only have if your thing is only going to be one color. Um, it's more important to go in edit mode and hit assign when you have you're going to have different material IDs within that same object. But I just like to be a little bit OCD there. All right. So now we have both objects that we need. But we also need to add this little triangle to every LOD and the physics shape. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this by Shift D. I'm going to put on a new layer. All right. So there's the duplicate. And there's the original with this door. I'm only going to make one other model for this. This is just a demonstration. So this model is going to be um, the physics shape and the low LOD for this demonstration. So I'm going to shift A to add a plane cube. And I'm going to use snap to vertices again. This up a little bit. So you just go and just gonna go all around and 
snap these vertices. So now this box will be our physics shape and velocity. Of course, for your real project, you probably want to make more. I'm going to put this on the same layer with the other triangle. Okay. So now I want to change over to that layer, layer 2, that I put the triangle on. Now make sure you give the door that same material. So let's go over here, pick our green material. And now I want to select the door and select this triangle and go Control J to join them. Okay, so those are one object now. And then I'm going to go back to our original, click the door, click the triangle, Control J to join. All right. Now I can export these. Select it, go to export collider. Just gonna go door four root caps. Make sure you have export only selected clicked. And then I'm going to change the other layer. Get the other one. Export the same way. Oops. You want to go export. And let's cut this. Is. And now join me back in Second Life when we upload this. Now we want to upload our model. So let's go to Build, Upload, Model. Remember that I told you earlier that I only have two models here, one high, one low, and I did that just for demonstration purposes. In your project you might need to have more LODs than that, but this works for the simple demonstration. So I'm going to put the high in both the high and medium, and then put our box in the low and lowest. Let's go over to the Physics tab. Here's the important part. Now we want to get our physics shape, which is just our box and the triangle. We want to change this to solid. I want to thank the Second Life user named Triangle for that tip because before I had to do this convoluted process with flipping the normals to get this to work, and this process is a lot easier and let's complicate. So when you change the solid then hit analyze. Now I'm just going to go over here and scale it down because I made the model too tall or too big. Now everything is fine. So I'm going to calculate the weights and then upload it. So I have my mesh. Alrighty. So first I want to show you something. So make sure you go over to features and change this to prim so we use our other so we're using our physics shape. Okay. Now I want to show you that you can walk through that triangle. See if I just go back and forth. You can see that I can walk straight through that triangle. 
but I cannot walk through the door. So the physics is working like we expect. Now, also notice that if we go to rotate this, it rotates on a pivot like we would expect. And if you wanted to get rid of this triangle, just select the face. And go 100%. And now you have your offset pivot so that you can add a door hinge script to this and be on your way. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I'll see you next time.